हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू अवर यूट्यूब चैनल आर एफ डिजाइन बेसिक्स सो इन दिस वीडियो वी विल लर्न हाउ टू प्लॉट ऑन सेमी लॉग ग्राफ विच इज ऑल्सो नोन एज बोडे प्लॉट सो बेसिकली दिस इज सेमी लॉग ग्राफ आई विल डिस्कस अबाउट इट्स एक्सिस एंड ऑल बिफोर दैट वील जस्ट टेक वन एग्जाम्पल एंड देन वी ट्राई टू अंडरस्टैंड so this example is 4 by s into 1 plus 0.5 s into 1 plus 0.08 s so first of all we have to identify which type of system it is so depending upon the number of poles at origin in this case there is only one pole at the origin other poles are at some other place if i want to know where are other poles we can just equate this with zero so basically we have poles at minus 2 similarly here we can find out where is the pole it is minus 12.5 so there is one pole at zero that is origin and other two poles are at minus 2 and minus 12.5 so depending upon the number of poles available at origin we define the type of system so this is basically coming under category of type 1 system where there is only one pole at the origin in this case slope will be minus 20 db per decade if there is no pole at the origin slope will be parallel to the frequency axis but here there will be decay and this one we are going to understand on the graph how to plot this now few more points we are going to convert this by replacing s as j omega and write as the frequency function g j omega into s j omega which is given by this for corner frequency we are going to equate this quantity with 1 and we'll get the corner frequency if i equate 0.5 omega equal to 1 omega will become 2 so these are corner frequency 2 radian per second 12.5 radian per second So whenever there is corner frequencies, slope will again change by minus twenty dB per decade. Means if it is already minus twenty dB per decade, at corner frequency it will become minus forty dB per decade. Next corner frequency it will become minus sixty dB per decade. So these are the few things you need to know. Now come to the graph. and how we are going to you know identify the axis on the graph you can see on the graph you know everywhere it is 1 2 3 4 5 6 like that it is written from 1 to 2 is having the large one then 2 to 3 and slowly slowly the scale is reducing and again after 9 we are getting 1 and this repeats in the same fashion now for this question we need to plot the bode plot so we are going to find out the magnitude of this function as well as phase of this function so this is our expression and using this expression we are going to find out the magnitude for magnitude the formula which we are going to use is gj omega hj omega will be 4 divided by magnitude of j omega is omega into magnitude of 1 plus j 0.5 omega which is a complex number it will be under root 1 plus 0.5 omega whole square then into 1 plus 0.08 omega whole square so using this function in calculator we can actually find out the magnitude various magnitude i will show you in the calculator how to do it now we'll calculate so for calculating just press cal c and put some value which is less than the corner frequency our corner frequency are these two so less than that we can put we can start from 1 also we can start from 0.1 that is our wish so based on these values 
we are going to put the scope scale so 0 0.1 we are getting 32 db so that's how i have written similarly i just keep on changing the values i will be getting further 11 so this is how i have written all the values for all these frequencies similarly you can write the expression for angle of g omega and h omega how do you write angle for angle what is the angle of 4 it is 0 degree minus this j omega j omega angle is 90 degree we have the first term as j omega so j omega angle is minus 90 degree basically it is 90 degree but it is in denominator so there will be a negative sign again negative sign due to denominator and it will be 10 inverse 0 0.5 omega 10 inverse 0 0.5 omega and minus 10 inverse 0 0.08 omega if you type the entire thing in calculator we get 90 minus 10 inverse 0.5 a then minus 10 inverse 0 0.08 a and then calculate for the various value like for 0 0.1 so we are getting minus 93.3 degree we have written that similarly calculate at 1 and we get minus 121 degree and similar way we just calculated for up to 100 radian per second so we we can see the starting roughly is minus 90 degree and ending is roughly minus 270 degree means our angle will lie between minus 90 to 270 degree roughly for plotting purpose same way this is 32 db to 80 db we may leave the higher values because our corner frequency is here after this the line will be straight line will be there so we may leave some of the values because the graph is not going to change after the corner frequency it will remain in the same straight line so that's why we have chosen this 32 db at 0 0.1 at 0 0.1 here it is 30 db and 32 will be here so this will be our starting point i am going to encircle it this will be our starting point what will be the slope slope will be minus 20 db per decade per decade in the sense this is one decade this is another decade and so on so we are going to plot this by taking the decade so obviously this value is 32 and we have minus 20 db decade it means that it will be 12 db after one decade one decade means this is one decade at this point what we are expecting 12 db so this is 10 and 12 is over here so this is the slope but when the slope will change it will change only at frequency 2 radian per second this is 2 radian per second there's 1 2 3 4 5 and so on this is 10 so it will continue till this line after that we can say we can write only dotted lines so this is minus 20 db per decade slope start from here like this So this is a line here it will go up to 2 radian per second so we can continue till 2 radian per second then we are having dotted line because this is not the actual line as slope is going to change from here so we can read the value over here what is the value and write there so it's 10 10 is over here 9 8 7 is 6 so this is 6 db now from here our slope is going to be further 
minus 20 dB that means minus 20 is already there now it is minus 40 dB per decade means we are already having 6 and 6 minus 40 means it should go minus 34 minus 34 in the sense this is 30, uh, minus 10 minus 20 and then minus 30 so minus 34 is even larger so we can make this slope this way 6 db and the expected value is after one decade one decade in the sense from 2 to this one is one decade 2 we are starting so this one will be one decade means here it should be minus 34 let's say roughly this one this point is minus 34 so the slope will be something like this as till this point it is 30 so i am just assuming this as minus 34 so slope will be this way till what point till next frequency the frequency is 12.5 so here it is 10 it will become 20 so 12.5 is on this line somewhere here So this is 12.5 and finally slope will change further and it will continue this way now we are going to plot the angle so for angle whatever angle we have calculated that we will be identifying along with this and also we can match the value at 12.5 we are expecting minus 29 we can see at 12.5 we are getting this minus 29 this is the value is minus 29 dv because this is minus 30 minus 20 and minus 10 for angle plot at 0 0.1 it is minus 93 degree so we have taken angle as minus 90 minus 120 minus 150 minus 180 always take at 0 db magnitude always take minus 180 degree similarly in the other side we have minus 210 degree then we have minus 240 degree and then minus 270 degree so at 0 0.1 this frequency the angle is minus 93.3 so this is minus 90 minus 93.3 will be one step is 3 degrees so minus 93 degrees here that means this point yes this point then we have at 1 minus 121 degree so at 1 we have minus 121 degree so 1 this is minus 121 degree points and we are going to match those points so this graph is phage and this is magnitude or we call it gain and gain crossover frequency is over here that is gain crossover frequency we can calculate by taking the when it is crossing zero so it will be roughly crossing at zero at little bit more than two it's roughly 2.2 or something 2.2 radian per second and phase is crossing over here which is 3 4 and 5 roughly 5 phase crossover frequency is 5 radian per second so to calculate the gain margin and phase margin when this phase is crossing here 
we are going to calculate the gain of the corresponding graph. So here it is crossing 0. That time, what is the gain? Gain is minus 10, 11, 12, 13. So roughly minus 13. So it will be roughly 13. So gain margin, gain margin is minus 13 means plus 13 dB. That is the margin. Means even we can add 13 dB over here. So that is gain margin. And for phase margin, wherever it is crossing 0, we can just see the angle. So this angle is around 150, 53, 56. So roughly minus 156 degree. So it's minus 156 degree. That means the phase margin is 180 minus 156 degree which is 24 degree and this is positive gain margin is 0 minus minus 13 db it means it is 13 db so this is also positive so both the values should be positive to have the stable system gain margin 13 db which is a positive value and phase margin is 24 degree which is also a positive value thank you